People ask, why is it so important to study polar bears and Arctic and climate change? And I think an important thing is that it's not just about the polar bear. But they're a bellwether, they're an indicator. And if polar bears are in trouble, then it means that something's happening further down the ecosystem. If the animals at the top, like the seals or the bears, are being affected, then something big is happening. People around the whole world are really interested in polar bears. They value them. They want to know that they're in an environment that is continuing. Well, my name is Ian Sterling, and I've been working in polar regions, north and south, for about 46 years. I was always just interested in the outdoors. I grew up in a small mining town in, in the mountains in southeastern BC. I always loved the outdoors. It's not like being a bank teller or a cashier in a grocery store. When you, you get to the end, you're, you're maybe quite glad about it and you want to do something else. Science and, and Arctic or polar biology has just been my life. Uh, the most informative aspect of all was uh, being at a couple of camps up in the high Arctic on Devon Island. We spent a great deal of time for several years just with telescopes watching bears uh, be bears. Being able to watch undisturbed bears for weeks on end in 24-hour daylight, that type of work was absolutely the highlight for me. The first time I came to uh, Churchill was in August, September in uh, 1970. But then those were what you might call the good old days now. All the bears were fat. What I was really interested in was long-term natural environmental fluctuations and how those would influence how you would manage or conserve polar bears. Climate warming wasn't even on the radar then. Over the passage of time, we've started to see that things are changing a great deal. We became aware of climate warming. We've looked at the rate of ice breakup. As breakup gets earlier and earlier, what that's doing is shortening the bear's feeding time at the absolute most important time of the year. So they're coming ashore in progressively lighter stages, poorer body condition. As a result of climate warming, uh, we're seeing very strong negative signs now on the health of bears in western Hudson Bay. And this is a harbinger or a, a beacon. It's telling us what's going to happen in a lot of other areas if climate warming isn't stopped or brought under control. The way things are looking at the moment, it's quite likely that there won't be very many bears here in western Hudson Bay in 40 years. If we really started to work globally to do something, we might be able to slow things down and conserve some of the most important areas of Arctic habitat.